Hello and welcome to Let's Play Distant Star Revenant Fleet. I thought I'd do this quickly while we waited for The Witcher 3. So yeah, it was a while ago I actually did do this. I did uh, one episode of this a while ago, when it was in version 0.4 or something like that. But anyway, without further ado, let's continue. Um, I was about to start the recording again, and that makes no sense! <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I'll stay quiet for this. It is said we were once a single people. Taking our first faltering steps into the unknown. Then, we discovered the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant. No. An alien artifact of unimaginable power it sent us deeper and deeper into the stars, unlocking the path to our enlightenment, even as it tore us apart. We are the Akari, keepers of the Ark. If we are warlike, it is because so many seek to destroy us. Now, the Othani, our oldest enemies, have laid siege to our home world of Eos and have dispatched a great weapon of war against us. The Erebus Platform. A planet killer. A threat of such magnitude, it must be destroyed. Lest our enemies wrest the Ark from the molten remains of our shattered world. So yeah, we're on quite a, a vital mission to destroy this bloody Ark before it ends up tearing our planet apart. You know, it's just mildly... Think we? Um... Required. Anyway, your Akari war fleet has been dispatched to intercept the Arabis platform. Or Erebus platform, I should say. An Athani super weapon capable of destroying planets. Part of the way there, through the journey, the war leader signals the immediate dropout into interspace, of interspace. Defend yourself. Fight the battle. <laughs> so, survive the battle. <laughs> Uh, we'll take care of that part. Come on. Because I don't mind if everything else was after me, but I want to defend things to go after... Or a type thing to go after any of my allies. Defend. And now we'll deal with the assault vessel. I, was actually, I found that out, that was actually pretty cool that I could left click on things. It's been a while since I played it, so I was kind of surprised when it happened. This was when I was testing. There we are, perfect. So far, the Lancer. Oh. Wait, 
have a tech vest on left. Come on, tech vest. Oh, fire you. Bloody. Ah. Shield is up. Where's the gold? I want to start moving it. Ah, no. I've got one ally left. And it's a repair ship. Come on. Next to the Well, before I end up dying, too. My shields have dropped. And I cannot dodge players. And I'm gonna die! And I shriek! <laughs> oh, wow. Your fleet has been defeated. Now nothing stands between the Athani and the destruction of Aeos. With the Erebus platform, the, your mission has failed. The Ark has been lost. <laughs> well, let's try and, you know, make the series a little longer than, what, <laughs> seven minutes? Oh, not even that, five. Like, pretty much, oh god. Well, we've read that already. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go in first. Oh crap, wrong way. Fire for it. It's a glass cannon, effectively. Ah, bugger. I cannot stand and believe that. Ah, well done. At least we managed to keep close to the fire barrel for a long term beauty to think. Seriously, let's get out of here. Oh. Okay, we've done this half health. Come on, I've done this before. I even did it in the bloody first thing round. Painful. The battle is over. 
It was an ambush. You have been betrayed by your war leader, one of your closest friends, and they are one of the few Akari to survive the massacre. Or oh, Atar Taurus. Now it is up to you to lead the Akari to victory. Fight your way across the galaxy and destroy the Erebus platform before the Athani use it to annihilate your homeworld, Aeos, and secure and they secure the sacred re Ark forever. I was about to say relic. <clears throat> Salvage what you can from the wreckage of your fleet and then jump to interspace to begin your mission. Hmm. Okay, that's good. We actually get to choose all the vessels, even the ones that were destroyed. Uh, able to create storms. Uh, is it Pulsar? Yeah, Pulsar is quite useful. Because that can actually heal allied units. I believe that's what this one is. No, oh, that's Shield Pulse. Well, still, there is a heal ability that it has. Let's see. Or used to have, I should say. Uh, I guess not anymore. Hmm. Okay, carriers. Only available on carriers again. I'm wondering what we should go for. This has EMP bomb, teleports a bomb to the target uh, for a huge chunk, a large chunk of damage to its energy. Okay, well that's just the energy damage, it's not really that great. Wait a minute, do you not need to activate this launch anymore? Oh, I'm, I'm guessing you don't need to activate the lance anymore because that's an automatic weapon as well. Ha! Huh. If that's true, then the lance ship may actually be useful. Like, it was a useful ship beforehand, but it required you to activate laser on your own. Uh, EMP bomb, that was a rogue. Gunship deals moderately moderate sustained damage to foes, but has a greater survivability than its burst damage counterparts. Huh, I've never actually done gunships before. Okay, so to run over the ships I've tried before, dreadnought. Dreadnoughts are big, slow, tanky things that just take all the damage and, in my opinion, go too slowly. Uh, carriers. Basically launch drones and turrets, etc. Tech vessels cause electrical or ion storms and dusty, uh, not dusty, um, hull eating nebulae when the shields are down. Pulsar ships just basically deliver healing and the likes. Rogues, I used to uh, have a very high damage, but you had to literally run in, fire, and then run off. Gunship I've never used, and the Lancer basically sits at long range and fires. So, uh, I guess we'll try get a Lancer again. And can I get any better things? We can get uh, fortified shielding and hull plating. Tactical overcharge. Boosts damage of all weapons. Hmm. Increases maximum hull and increases maximum shield. I'm going to fortify shielding on this one. Because I'll be the one that takes damage pretty much. Um, burst cannon? Might be an idea to get a burst cannon. Yeah, I'll get a burst cannon, I'll fit it to that. Okay. And we got any money for a new ship? We don't. Ah, just. Hmm. Well, I guess we could get the gunship. What's the rogue do again? EMP bomb. Uh. Now we'll get the gunship, and then we could 
could get that. We will get that, I think. So we'll reinforce the shielding and... Wait, reinforcing is different from... Uh, reinforcing consumes a chunk of energy to regenerate the shields for a period of time. Oh, okay. I just um, increases the maximum. Okay. Ah, uh, increases damage of all weapons. Get that. Flag it there. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Well, we'll jump. And hey, we'll just carry on. Ah. Until recently, this flight base was conducting half of the Alcari sorties in the sector. Wait, what? What's this? This system ID is obviously being translated from the original Athani. Ha! Huh. Inter uh, 110th Intercept Quadrant uh, is well known for their heroism in battle of Shon... Surazun. Shurazun. Amongst other engagements, a query the logistics transmission lists them as having attached equipment spares. <laughs> well, first off, we'll jump here, and then we'll jump there, and then go across again. A civilian ship has suffered engine damage and in friendly territory. As you jump in from interspace, their systems go dark and the ship drifts. Clearly, they want you to believe that they are derelict. Contact the ship. An intense woman wearing thick black ah uh, thick robes answers your hail. Killers! Your proximity to the eternal souls endangers us all. Leave us be! Can we help you in any way? Even your persistence taints us. You have done, already done us immeasurable harm. Leave! Send an engineer to repair the ship. As soon as your engineer docks with a vessel, it explodes! Damaging your own cargo bay and flushing some of the supplies at the speed. God damn it. I was just trying to help. Ugh, horrible people. I'll be going then. Grr. So, when you arrive at the Mazuja flight base, the flight captain is more than keen to invite you aboard the orbital facility. We've been ordered to hold back for a final offensive, should the Erebus platform make it through, but many of our pilots are frustrated the lack of combat sorties. To be frank, if you can requisition some ships, the men would be honoured to assist you in such an important mission. Ah, oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, oh, no, we can't. Uh, wait a well, sorry. I would have, but, you know, your men seem to want massive amounts of pay. Like, ahead of time now, as well, and everything. It's like, fine. What's that? You want to hold out for your family and stuff? Well, jeez. And now, carry held stations are in high alert. The Athani have hit this frontline sector hard, forcing your allies to mount a retreat. As you jump in from interspace, the enemy comes for one final push. Without your help, the Al Akari the Akari, will be destroyed. Defend the retreating Akari. Uh, yes, that's probably the best. Tell the Athani to stand down. Put your fleet in a way that, in the way of the Athani host, and wait. Let the Akari defend themselves. You have a mission to focus upon. Ugh, no. Um. Put our ships in the way, I guess. The more time passes, the edgier your crew becomes until a fatal mistake is made. A recently promoted officer mistakes a solar flare for gunfire and immediately responds in kind. Your fleets are engaged, you must fight- Oh god damn it! <laughs> uh, fine in. Fine in. This is why we can't have these things. <laughs> 
So we'll just make our way down this way, I guess. Because my guys are idiots. Come on! Do I need to tell you which way to go exactly? Okay. Damn it, why did... No, come on. One and three, get in there. You successfully defended both our carry held stations. Okay. And a carry vessel messages you before it jumps to interspace. Honor you, ah, uh, honor to you and your clan, war leader. May your story end in victory. May it indeed. May it indeed. I'm tempted to make a jump back for that vessel, the Lancer. Ah, it's gone now. Ah, oh, rage. Hmm. I guess we'll just continue then. <sighs> Massive number of Athani insurgent indents register across the system. War leader. They're retreating. One fleet is going. One fleet is going to pass right by us. Um. I guess. Huh. I guess we'll ignore them. High Command intervenes. War Leader, destroy those ships. Uh, those ships will be a huge benefit to our campaign. Do not leave the system until they are gone. Well, fine then. I was trying to be nice. Guess not. So I'm to destroy Fleet A. Where's Fleet A? Anyway, there we go. Oh god, what the hell? Anyway, you should move on. You successfully destroyed the retreating Athani fleet. That's because there were like three vessels, you know. Just say. High Command relays its gratitude. It was an important boost to morale. Who the hell did you transport resources? Oh, whatever. Sure. Uh, jump. Uh, we'll go in this direction, I guess. Uh, we'll sweep round, probably, to the exit from here. You jump to the next uh, Athani ship, the Asaka. You jump next to another Akari ship, the Asaka. A deep space recovery vessel. Greetings, war leader. The ship we were sent to recover is just lost to... Has just been lost to the nearby sun. Though, we do have a majority of our crew aboard. As we are still equipped for ship repair, we can offer any help. Um... 
I'm fine. Well, that was thoroughly disappointingly useless. Uh, I'll go down here and then I'll go up again. Just so we can get another sector in. An Athani shipyard looms in space. Its partic this particular facility seems dedicated to building the most dangerous ships in the Athani fleet. Oh, uh... I'm thinking about just attacking the shipyard, honestly. Sure, I'll attack the shipyard. What could go wrong? <laughs> uh, anyway. Hmm, should be interesting. Seems that they're changing the spawn slightly. Like, you know what? Ah, my god. Ow. Come on. There we go, perfect. I can activate both the same thing. Okay, I really should have fired us off earlier, I don't know why. I just kinda held on to it. No real reason behind it, I just did. I wish I could make that group one. Nah, I can't. Can I change the order of these ships at all? Because I would like one and two to be right next to each other. Or one and three to be right next to each other. Okay, come on, get rid of that one. There we go, perfect. Ah, uh, turn one. Ah, you're attacking that vessel. Please don't. It's kind of fragile. Perfect. Uh, can I... Can I select all? No. Okay. At least I don't know if a shortcut to select them all. Okay. Well, it seems that we're just going to capture the station anyway, so it doesn't matter really. You've captured the Othani shipyard. Okay. Oh! I've received spider missile. Harsh words will be exchanged in the War Council on Othani after this defeat. Ha! Huh. Spider missiles. Can I install that on... Uh. Okay, War Spider Missile launches a barrage of smaller, we uh, weaker missiles. It really doesn't do that great in area base damage. Its range is short. This range is. This has a range that doesn't stay. That's just a standard issue cannon. That's supposed to be better than a standard issue cannon, I'm assuming. The total cost will be plus 950 credits. Huh. Wait, what? what if I do that then? Plus again. Here? Plus 950. Huh. Okay. Well, sure, I'll put it there. Plus 950. We have plenty of money now. I just hope I encounter places where I can get ships, etc. Anyway, let's get moving. And we'll go to this re-designated beacon. Othanity... Othanity... 
Well, Thani military logistics have pioneered a number of small of supply techniques that have since become widely deployed in deep space warfare. Right now, artificially intelligent drift pods, as they are known as, are waiting just outside the system in interspace, ready to automatically intercept and resupply Athani vessels. Huh. Forget the drift pods. Attempt to fake an Athani identity and purchase some supplies. Your transmission... You transmit your fake identity and wait for a while. Several Athani drift pods warp out in... of interspace. Warp in out of interspace, even. Sure. I need a bit of resources, after all. Because <laughs> we are starting to get a touch low. Anyway, we'll jump again. So, the 110th Interception Squadron. The 110th Intercept Squadron is currently in lay over in the system carrying out maintenance and repairs. When your fleet arrives, you are contacted by the squadron leader... The Simnek? Greetings, war leader! It is an honour to finally meet you. Our repairs are progressing well, but recent losses mean that we have more spare parts than we expected. Perhaps your fleet could use some of our attachments. Perhaps indeed. Disengage? Forces all enemy ships in the area to ignore you with automatic weapons. Oh. Hmm. And critical repairs, okay. First thing is first, auto loader onto that because, you know, it's only got missiles. And we'll get disengaged on that. Thanks, I guess. Uh, we'll jump. Ha! Huh. Friendly guys! So, the space station uh, close by has been taken by the Akari forces the Athan in Athani space. The captured station would be a major asset, yet these Akari have kept their victory oddly quiet. The Akari holding this, this station cannot be trusted. Attack. Uh, contact the station. Wait for the Akari to contact you. Leave your mission is bigger. Contact the station. The station commander wears no clan symbols and is covered in all ident in all identifying life story tattoos. We are the Akari no more. What do you want with us? Uh, you have turned your back on your people? On our people? Our people are tearing through the gal galaxy. The galaxy. Sorry. Our, t our people are tearing the galaxy apart over the Ark. We are not fanatics like the holy Agachtum we just want peace. The Thani will not create peace if they take the Ark. The station commander shakes her head. Nothing good comes of that thing. We should hide it away and forget about it. What are you going to do? Attack us, commander? Hmm. It, the day says the time, but I'm saying leave. The station commander looks surprised. Honor to you and your clan, commander. Thank you. Sure, I guess. Anyway, I think we better get out of here before we end up overstaying or welcoming this sector. You've made it to the border of this sector. A new sector awaits. Okay, well, jump, yes. So, we can go into a Thani controlled sector or an Akari sector. I'm thinking of going Akari then to the front lines here and here, and then to another um, Thani here. So, yeah, we'll jump in here, I guess. And we'll see how it goes. 
Enter space marker buoys welcome you to the Akari space as you clear the coded interlocks. This sector is currently under the control of the Akari, but regular sorties by the but there are regular sorties by the Athani. Uh, and their recent overrun of allied positions mean few systems are truly secure. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to leave that there right now. I think one sector of video is reasonably good. Maybe later on I'll have to have like two videos a sector, but you know, I think one video a sector is good. So I'll leave it there and until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed.